Hi there, how are you going? It's Simon here. Today we are going to learn an arrangement of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, or Over the Rainbow, by Israel Kamakavivolia. Let's hope I've said that right. It popularized about 10 years ago, and I've taught this a whole bunch of times to people, and I thought you might like to hear how it goes too. I'll see you in a second. Bye for now. <laughs> All right, so we in regular, regular tuning, take my capo off, uh, capo off, tuner off. I've got a capo at the fifth fret. All right, now, um, I'm not gonna use a pick because obviously he's playing this on the ukulele, um, which is kind of why I've used the capo a little bit to get that kind of higher timbre, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm also gonna just use the front of my first finger to kind of this ukulele-esque, right? They don't really use picks, those guys, so. Um, we're going to play a whole bunch of open chords. They're pretty straightforward. Um, sounds really great. So uh, let's kick it off with a G. We're going to play down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Right? So that fills one bar. Okay? So you get... Now what you'll notice here is that I'm playing G3, 2 and 4. There's a reason for that which we find out in the second bar because we're going to play a G major 7. Right? So you basically your first finger goes here on the second fret away from the capo on the high string. So we get this. Switch. Then a C major. Put a G bass if you like. G major, same thing. Now in this bar, the fourth bar, we have two chords, G and G7, so we get. And then we're gonna play a C major, G major, D major, and this is where he arranges E minor. Then a C. Okay, so let's have a go at that together. I'll count us in and we can have a little play. I'll go a little slower than I just went, just so you can grab the chords. We are gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four. How did you go? If you need to have another go, just skip back in the video and have another go. All right, then we've got this B section, which plays G. D. E minor. C major. And that repeats. D. minor, C major, then back to the front. Now in there if you like you can play G major, D with F sharp bass and play a D and then chuck your thumb on the second fret of the low E string, E minor, whoops C major, G, okay. And that is the other section, E minor, C major, then back to the front. Okay, and that is how you play his interpretation of this awesome song. Now, G, G7. G, D, E minor. That's how it goes.
goes. All right. Uh, now, if you'd like to see a different video on exactly the same song, uh, in a few weeks, I'm going to put together a jazz version of this. I've played this lots of times in little jazz trios and quartets and stuff like this, where you might have something a bit more like this. Let's take some of that out. So slightly different kind of vibe, but uh, still an awesome way of playing this tune. Uh, I will see you then. Uh, all the best. If you'd like the chart, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye for now.